beautiful Pisces, how are you today? I want to welcome all new visitors as well as watchers, cross watchers, and subscribers. And thank those subscribers who entered the contest by subscribing, liking, commenting on the video, and sharing if they could. So I thank you so much and the overall energy for you, Pisces, for this third of the month, the third weekly reading for the month of September is focus. I just had that for Aquarius. And I think I might have had it for Capricorn, interestingly enough. I really love this deck. It's beautiful. Release. Oh, focus and release. Letting something that's old fall away. Sort of a Scorpio energy. Focus is very much a precision energy. Very detailed energy. I feel like that's probably a Virgo energy. And I'm getting new beginnings. Isn't that beautiful? Full energy, Aquarius energy. Let's see what your person and you have cooking in your relationship. Well, there's something stuck. Those cards did not want to shuffle quite right. Okay. Oh, look at that again. What is going on here? Cards don't want to shuffle so well. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. So Pisces. Okay. So there okay let's see what your energy is with you and your significant other okay healing okay that makes sense it makes sense with a tough shuffle it's like you don't even know what to say what to think what to do in the recent past what's going on today at this particular time in your relationship hermit card virgo energy four of swords is labor energy trying to find your balance trying to heal the hermit card again very virgo energy itself it's it's introspection it's searching within for answers and both of you are doing that Six of Swords says that your person views the situation as one in which one of you may move away. Uh, you may leave the relationship or the two of you might leave or move, quite literally. But these cards are about healing and that would be about leaving the relationship most likely. How you view your how your person views you. They view you Pisces as Piscean energy, happy, go lucky, sweet, happy, fulfilled, very fulfilled. That's the wish comes true. So Pisces, your person has Pisces energy. They could have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Pisces, but they seem to be still very happy in this connection. How does your person feel? They see you as being very happy in this connection. How does your person feel in their heart space, Pisces? Seven of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. The star card. They feel as though, and this is Aquarius, so feeling as though they have a lot of options in which to take with Aquarius energy. This person really wants to stand up to the relationship. I feel as though they feel as though they've been caught up in a relationship that's very divine and very beautiful and very uplifting. Oh, <laughs> lots of cards went flying. But they're not sure that they want to be in the relationship. But I don't see this as healthy energy particularly. The desire, the fact that they have a lot of options, that they look like a rock star to other people, indicates that, that some of the healing, some of the wounding of the relationship, they might be paying attention to other people simply because when relationships last long enough, there's going to be a lot of old wounds, a lot of little dings in the flesh, so to speak. Um, and it shows that your person has considered possibly, I wouldn't say cheating, but certainly finding friendship with another person who would challenge the relationship at a minimum. We have the Aries Queen. This is the Fiery Queen. Uh, Action-oriented, we have at Mars rulership, somebody who's very assertive. Your person sees the two of you going forward by being very assertive and being sort of sneaky. An interesting combination. Appearing to have everything out in the open when in reality they, they could be sneaking around. And I don't like these two energies together. These are spiritual cards that lack spirituality. 
the Seven of Cups is about, oh, I have all these temptations and look at all these wonderful things. Well, all those things aren't so wonderful, you know? There's only one right answer, and the Seven of Swords says, sort of sneaking around. They see that the way forward in your relationship is to sneak around the Queen of Wands. Like, what? That sort of doesn't even make really good sense. So, Pisces, so let's see what's going on mutually that's hidden. Both of you are feeling an intense dissatisfaction. You're exhausted. Uh, it could be Rona Geddon. I really see that coming into play in a lot of relationships. But the Five of Cups says that you're both being very pessimistic. You both feel as though the relationship is probably worse than it is. Uh, it's a, maybe spending too much time together. Um, I, it's, a, it's a boredom. But it also is taking for granted a lot of love. The Five of Cups is usually low-level conflict, feelings of disappointment. There could be some withholding. Uh, there's, there's sort of a passive-aggressive air to this situation. And passive-aggressive is very, in my opinion, this is my opinion, passive-aggressive has no place in relationships because it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous because at least if you can speak your truth in an open and honest spiritual way without trying to injure the other person, if you just say what your truth is, you have the ability to find an answer. But if there's passive aggressiveness, there's mind games, there's sneaking around, there's sort of a lack of clarity, um, you know, it's sort of Scorpio energy. It can end the relationship. What is the advice of the Tarot? We have go within, go to your spiritual core, protect the essence of this relationship. Cancerian energy, remember why you love this person. Remember why you would want to protect this relationship. Because what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, is that this person is not going to find a rock star like you in the average relationship and they know they they know it they feel it about you too so what is the outcome at the end of September the Sun card reversed is still almost as happy it just means it's a cloudy day maybe the Sun isn't out so brightly the ace of cups you're pessimistic about how much you love each other the three of cups you are best friends but you haven't really been living that truth the Hierophant, you've talked about marriage in the past, and the Strength card is coming up saying that I do not believe this relationship will last. This is incredible energy. This is long-lived energy. The in eternity or infinity symbol tells me that. You've been together for a long time. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see why uh, you're... I do feel that this is very Rona Geddon. I feel as though you've been together probably maybe up to seven years, uh, living together, married, however the relationship is playing out. But let's see what the card of focus is. You are focused on negative energy. You're focused on wanting legacy. Build, you want to build legacy. And yet you're, voca you're focused very much on the little things that you feel are preventing you from doing that. We have the Libra Queen here. I love the Libra Queen. I love Virgo energy. It does indicate that if you start focusing on the big picture, that is where redemption lies in these cards. You have the strength, and I feel like the strength card will bring about the upright position remembering how much you love your person, remembering what a bright spot in your life they are, remembering why at one time you really wanted to probably marry this person. This is Aquarius energy or Taurus energy. It also indicates that you now want to redefine what traditional relationship looks like, which is really beautiful. Both of you look like you're very freedom loving, very happy go lucky, but we do have some some trouble that I believe is really caused by being sort of in tight quarters for too long. All right, the release. What are you going to release here? What are you going to release, my dear Pisces? What are you going to release? What is my Pisces going to release? Let's see here. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles, you're going to release the Kraken. You're going to be a powerhouse. You want to become really stable. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, your focus is going to be on money. And with that focus on money and developing skills and developing the innate talents you already have, you actually can create 
legacy wealth right now. So what is it? Do you need transportation? Do you need wheels? Do you, do you live somewhere where you feel as though you can't get there from here? This, oh, beautiful, the page of swords. That's being willing to take a risk. This page is, is seeking enlightenment, studying a book, walking across a sword barefoot. There are mountains, there are waterfalls, and this page is undaunted, just not even daunted by what is going on around them. That is how you're going to find your focus. That is going to be how you learn your craft or your skill or what's going to create money for you and new abundance. New beginnings, a page of pentacles comes up. So this unhappiness has to do with an inner disappointment, an inner core of being disappointed in yourself or thinking that a relationship might be responsible for you not making progress when in, case, in actuality that is not the case. You are coming up with rock star moves. Look at this emperor energy. You are the CEO of your own life and both of you are that. Both of you are heading in all of these interesting directions. This is mutual energy. So let's see what the clarifiers are for the Four of Swords and healing. What is the healing that needs to be done in the recent past for this relationship? Ah, Wheel of Fortune. That is Rona Geddon. It is turned upright though. So Rona Geddon brought you into a state of depression. And now we have the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor so that you become the Taurus King. Beautiful. That The Taurus King rules the second house of earned income. So somehow, whatever happened that seems so debilitating, you know, maybe like losing a job or being on unemployment and really feeling sort of depressed and not hopeful, look at what is coming in for you. So really a beautiful energy may, may have been a turning point of a new job or some situation, which is actually going to help you build wealth. You may become an entrepreneur or somebody who makes a lot of money for what you learn in this situation. Why is the Hermit card here? Ace of Materials, both you and your partner are thinking about how to shore up financially, how to level up. The universe has your back. You will stay together. Um, you are better together. The Temperance card is coming in. Both of you will find that you don't want to leave the relationship. The Nine of Materials, Nine of Materials. The journey is not a physical journey to a new location, although you could move to a place in which it's easier to get to whatever it is that you need to create abundance. But I feel that's more a spiritual journey. The Six of Swords energy is Aquarius energy and that is all about enlightenment. Aquarius is enlightenment. So it really means that you are going to, through groups and social situations, find your way to a situation in which you can build abundance on a material level without having to formally go to school. Really incredible energy. The Ten of Cups, why is it here? Four of Cups. Uh, your person feels as though you're holding back from them on your emotions. They feel as though you really love them deeply. Deeply, and yet you are holding back. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Because it needs to be healed. And it's immaturity. It's the page of wands that needs to be healed. Having bright ideas and when they don't work out or when they are poorly researched, they don't turn out and then you feel like, oh, woe is me, you know. But we all feel that way, you know. Don't beat up on yourself. This is, life is a big muscle. I always feel like my, life is a big mud wrestling match. And some days it's hilarious and it's fun and you're like, this is so crazy and I'm loving the ride. And other days there are there's mud in your eyes and you can't see the truth and we have the knight of swords coming in giving you clarity or giving your partner clarity on how important it is to stay focused and to stay happy to stay in a nurturing frame of mind the advice of the tarot is actually saying you know you just need to nurture each other you need to nurture yourselves you need to stop worrying about what somebody else is doing you need to stop sort of just being weird and you know hunting around maybe spending time on the internet looking at dating sites or something you know looking at pictures you know too much uh, too much 
hunting like that is not going to be helpful. It, just nurture yourself and nurture the connection is the advice here. Both you and your partner will do that as a month progresses. The five of... <laughs> the five of cups well your mother is stepping in here the capricorn queen is coming in saying you know stop it just stop be stop feeling sorry for yourself you have all this love and here you are kicking over the cups and then blaming it on the relationship be clear-headed have some libra energy find your balance stop doing woe is me get out of your gemini head invest invest in the relationship because it's a smart thing to do and you can't make things better when you're all pessimistic and down trodden and sad and disappointed like that doesn't get anybody anywhere so mom's coming in to psychologically and spiritually kick butt if your mother has passed uh, she's giving you messages she's going to give you inspiration and reason to move forward in a dream or in a message or in something that you see or hear that you rem that reminds you of her whether she is on the earthly plane with you or not beautiful I love it the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so this really is coming out of murkiness into a more nurturing vibe. Once you get into a more nurturing vibe, you're going to be so, look at happier. It took the words out of my mouth. Nine of Cups, the happiest. That's eat, drink, be merry, enjoy, celebrate life. It's really good. You know, the original eat, drink, and be merry card was for tomorrow we shall die. That was, yeah, I think it from Shakespeare, if I'm correctly, you know, quoting it. Uh, because life is very short, you know. Tomorrow doesn't mean literally, but it does mean metaphorically that you know every day that we're on earth we should wake up and be grateful and the sun card oh my god the ten of cups okay I'm so happy ten of cups ten of cups you find your feet again nine of pentacles nine of pentacles you're still on a beautiful journey moving forward of creating an individual legacy that will become a beautiful leg legacy in your coupledom. I do believe you are turning these cards upright. So I've never, I don't think I've ever done that in a YouTube reading where I just took a clump of cards and said, yeah, they're going to be upright. Just do this. There you go. Wear your heart on your sleeve. Wear it vibrantly. Be proud. Go forward. Enjoy your life. Pisces, you have a beautiful reading. This is a period of time in which feels very troubled but it really is not what you think it is just really focus on all of those beautiful things ever give get in a moment of gratitude do 25 things you're grateful for in a gratitude journal and most of this will be healed and resolved you've been thinking about it you know that that's what you're supposed to do and you're just sort of avoiding sort of doing your homework sort of thing and the homework is not the test the homework is the homework not all that hard to do but you do have to settle at the desk you have to do the work i love you so much sending you love from chicago send me some back with the location from which you are sending that love Thank you so much. It was a joy being with you today. Take care. Bye-bye, Pisces.